Welcome to Whiskey Vault. I'm Daniel. This is uh, fun, and uh, I'm gonna have to thread the line between like really cool and also I'm a little annoyed, but it's for pet reasons. Okay. Right? So, first of all, uh, in this brave new world of accessible releases, Never heard of Claremont Steep in my life. Well, this is a Jim Beam product. Okay. This is their this American, is American single, single malt. Yeah. The first ever release of okay. an American single malt okay. from Jim Beam. That is interesting because the only American single malt set I know anything about are not big brands. No. <laughs> Jack I mean, Daniels. Woodford did one. Right, Jack, I don't know. Jack Daniels did one. Jack Daniels keeps sending me, for whatever reason, yeah. the single malts. But the mid-sized distilleries and the smaller distilleries, yeah. I'm all over them. Yes. Okay. Okay, so this is 80% standard malted barley, 20% yeah. golden Pilsner malted barley, five years old. Yeah. Now, I, I'm gonna tell you about my gripe after we try it. Okay. Yes, do that. Don't color my opinion yet. Yeah, yeah. Um, I am I'm getting weirdly excited. Mm -hmm. American single malt from a big company. That was one of the things that I think the smaller guys definitely took the lead on. Oh yeah. Right? No, I, the big guys are following craft on that yeah. 100%. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So, they I mean honestly they got some catching up to do because at this point the the number of beautiful, fantastic oh American single malt and craft. Yeah. Okay, forget this is Beam. Imagine if a craft company no, no, this sent is, us this. This is small. This is yeah. a small, yeah, this is this is small craft this distillery. This is someone who's new to malt. Yeah. This is small craft distillery for sure. I, I would, blind, I would have said this is a startup distiller. They didn't do anything, there's no faults, but it's young, it's not really developed, it's so mature, it's kind of simple on the nose. And it has yeah, that. Yeah, it's a wider cut the apple for a malt. It's apple hay. Yeah, it's green apple, mm -hmm. sour green apple, cut hay. Yeah, and then there's some honey drizzled in there, which is nice. There's nothing wrong with the nose. It's but soft. The whole thing smells soft. How bready. interesting is it that the small guys in whiskey have spoiled us? Oh yeah. And when the heavy hitters come in, well, because I didn't like, like Woodford single malt either. Yeah, yeah and yeah. I also didn't like Jack Daniel's single malt all that much. Yeah, yeah. right. Now there's. In terms of American single malt, you want to go to mid tier to small distilleries. They've got it down. They've they got figured it down. out. Yeah. Starting yeah. to get more of the honey. That green, the green apple is the fruit for me. It's not quite granola, it's more of like a sweet hay. But it is pastry. Like the whole thing is soft and bready. Yeah. Like it smells like fresh out of the oven. Mm hmm. All right, I'm gonna try it. Forty-seven percent. Oh, Stop it's it. a nice, Stop soft, it. honey cherry, honey nut Cheerio kind you know, of honey granola. You know what it is? I like this American single malt from Jim Beam the exact same amount that I like bourbon from Jim Beam. Oh yeah, <laughs> I can see what you mean by that. It's yeah. like, oh, that's nice. Yeah. It's not remarkable. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> uh, no obvious faults. No. No. It's fine. It's, I think they're aiming for middle of the road. Yeah, Where and they nailed the it. Most, I mean, honestly, <laughs> if you're looking for the most traffic, the most pallets, and guys, being in the middle of the road is a good yes, place to be. Yes. Hmm. So The finish doesn't last long. No, it's it's 47%, but it drinks like 43 to 40. Yeah, it doesn't fall off a cliff, but it definitely has a diminishing... Okay, can I get on my pet project? Now, and, and I, here's why I'm a little nervous about it. I like it slightly better the second approach, go ahead. Yeah. I'm a little nervous about this, and I'll tell you why after I rant first. Oh yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Their release for the press release for this was, yeah, yeah. with little to no definition in the American single malt category. Eat a bag of, they won best in the world, man. What are you doing? Uh, <laughs> Freddie No developed his own defining guidelines. Okay. Making intentional product choices, unlike everyone else who's been making malt. It's accidentally stumbled into it. For 15 f***ing years. <laughs> yeah. Basically, it talked about how, like, Freddie No is a pioneer in the single malt who's in this, this like, desert of whiskey he, is making bold choices. He also went on record. Yeah. Uh, be ready to be a little more irritated. Right. He also went on record as saying... Hmm. Well, I think if American single malt has any kind of defining guidelines, it better involve new oak because that's the American way, basically. Okay. 
Nobody ever gets two bags of dicks, but two bags of dicks? Yeah. Glad we don't. Okay. So here's what I, here's at, at first glance, just hearing, you know, for the first time, now, what knows. you're telling me. Yes. Now, legend and yes, brother. yes, 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 yes. You can't take away the things that like, the person has accomplished. Get it. But what I, what that smacks of to me is them being behind the curve, way behind the curve with American single malt, but they're trying to make a play. Yeah. With his, you've seen a this decade behind the curve, but you've seen this time and time again across mm -hmm. industries all throughout history. Cars. You see somebody who is a pioneer, mm -hmm. but they don't make the money. The popularizer comes along, comes along with yeah. the reach and the resources. Filmmaking. And the popularizer becomes the thing that everybody remembers. Music. But I think they're they're too far behind that curve. Yeah. And I, this to me smacks as this them trying to if, get ahead of where they realize they should have been in if American If they had done malt. this 10 years ago when all the American malt were babies. Even seven or eight, man. Yeah, they yeah. could have put a foothold in. But, but now you're like making these claims. It's like, guys, dude, th it's too late for a popularizer to come in and make these claims. Like the, the pioneers yeah. have already done so well and made a lot of money, a lot of waves, a lot of accolades. People in the know the understand. The world best beat Scotland at their own game. Yeah. So look, here's the thing. We are not unbiased, or I'm not unbiased. <laughs> uh, we're founding, not founding, but we're members of the American Single Malt Commission, yeah. which is an organization that was founded by some of the original single malt makers in North America, right? right? The ones who are winning all those awards. And uh, we have guidelines, and they've been submitted to TTB. And TTB has all but said, yeah, sure. We're literally just waiting on them to go stamp done. Yeah. And they keep maybe next month, <laughs> maybe next month, maybe next month, right? And so my frustration is in this kind of video right. is I don't want to alienate anybody getting into the single malt category right. because I want the American single malt category no, to win. I've gone on the record and said this multiple times. Uh, for a few years now, American single malt has been my favorite oh, yeah. whiskey category me too. in the world. Yeah, well, Scotland, then American single malt. No, for me, it's that American order. single malt, and then, yeah, yeah we can get then into Then other things. Yeah. But I, I just, I want, I'm excited. I want Beam to stay in the single malt category. Yeah. I want them to do more than Claremont Steep. Yeah. I want them to do finishes it, it, and variations. It just feel, I agree. It just feels a little thirsty for them to try and claim the mantle of... We did it, yeah. Everybody, you're welcome, guys. <laughs> like, come on, man. We, we've, we've all been here, and yeah. not not even us. We've only been here for five years. Yeah, but but hold on. But our friends have been here for almost two decades. But if we're well, and, dude, yeah, it's the well, darts. Close, I just need to close, refine. It's, it's getting yeah. closer. It's getting closer. Now, uh, if we're going to be as fair as possible, mm -hmm. we just got finished talking about how you know the the spectacle and the gamesmanship. Right? It went and they're doing it. They're doing the spectacle. They're doing yeah, the gamesmanships. And we just celebrated that yep. in previous episodes about, hey, this, you know, it's a critical part of getting your product out there. Um, I think they just happened to take an angle of approach in an area that we are deeply involved and deeply yep. aware of all of the work that's already been done yep. at a very high level. Yep. It's not just like, well, my friends say, it's like, that's always annoying. Yeah, that's like, me and my friends. Rules. Right. That's, yeah, that's petty that and that's count. silly. But whenever, like around the planet, people are recognizing the already existing quality of American single malt that I agree should be bigger than it is now, but we have coming online year after year, month after month, more and more phenomenal oh, yeah. bottlings in this yeah. category. Yeah. It's a little behind the curve and a little thirsty for me, but I respect the game. Yeah. And I get why you'd do it. Yeah. We, we want Beam in the American Single Malt Commission. Yeah. That's what we actually want. And so, uh, Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Michael Stone, 7197. Daniel, which of all of the small aid classes is your favorite to teach and oh. why? Level one, two, three, or four? So, it's one. Hmm. Um, I, so, two things. Uh, I've trained and been developing instructors for all the other levels. Yeah, yeah. I've worked myself out of most of the other levels. Yeah. I'm in them all. I, I teach in all levels, <laughs> but I've handed off a lot of the weight onto other psalms mm -hmm. because that's the whole goal is to replace yourself, right? Um, but one, I love watching people yeah. show up for the first time and then become a part of this community. Yeah. And it's so powerful that it's still, it, every time you think, 
well, we've done this before. It'll be the same thing again. Yeah. And then you get to graduation, and it's magical, and it changes people's lives, and they do amazing shit after they leave here that you can take, like, 5% credit for having helped them push them on their way. <laughs> mm-hmm. And I just love, I love that. So, one. Nice. So, going back to this, yeah, it does improve over time for me. Yeah. It try, becomes, it becomes try more Try it with pres- water added. I'm not going to with yours but try mine it It made it green it made it green so i've been i went back to this while you were talking yeah it became um more rich and present than it was in first approach that's fair yeah you see what i mean Mm -hmm. with water added and that's a tiny dash that probably took it to 40. yeah i still like it better the more you live with it yeah it softens yeah it softens it relaxes and also the that body becomes a little bit more present we have MJ Hearns 23. Just think you said it would take two years to get through all those whiskeys. Here we sit nearly seven years later, <laughs> and you are all still at it. Yeah, that was early on in the vault, and we're like, look, how long are we going to be here? Well, yeah. if you do the math on these walls, <laughs> probably two years. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I, Now do the math on these walls. I ran the math on these walls. Yeah. If I drink uh, two ounces a day, yeah. Of this vault, and no one added to it. Yeah. It would take me almost a hundred years mm. to finish the whiskey in the vault. Mm. What a way to go! <laughs> okay. uh, <laughs> I am glad that they made this. I am also. Here's to fighting, stealing, and drinking. If you fight me, I fight for a friend. If you steal me, you steal your liver's heart. <laughs> and if you drink, may you drink with us. Yes.